Hello comic book junkies, it's the Frog Queen here and today I'm coming at you with a, another comic book review. Um, I ran into this yesterday at the comic book store and I did not know it was coming out. Um, I don't get hmm, really well updated with the DC Black Label, but I always check out the section when I'm in the shop and uh, this was there. This is a little mini series for Hellblazer, brand new-ish, I guess. <laughs> this is book one. Again, you'll notice it's on that black label, large print, that magazine size, I guess. I think technically this might be bigger than Silver Age Comics. Is it bigger? I don't think I have one close by to compare it to, but uh, you know, our our magazines are this size, right? Our our 2000 AD, and um, I think it's the same size as the heavy metal magazine as well. Anyway, this is interesting. Uh, the cover, loved it. It felt like a throwback to old school Hellblazer, um, and there's actually a couple um, nods <laughs> to old Hellblazer in it. Um, so they do take, go back to, like it starts out with John's beginnings when he was born. And they do follow canon. Um, I have recently, sort of semi-recently read that um, original story of when, uh, you know, um, John was born and a lot about like his childhood and stuff. But there's, there's several stories about that, but in the original um in the original series. So I'd recently read them. So I was like, yeah, this pretty much follows truth. So that's good, that's good. Um, but yeah, you'll notice like, I think it's on page four. They say, uh, Dr. Delano. Um, so there's some like, kind of like nods, sorry, the glare of the lights, impossible to deal with in when you have this lovely glossy, um, <laughs> glossy finish on your comics. But uh, it says Dr. Delano. You know, there's a few throwbacks, um, or I guess they're nods. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to the original creators of Hellblazer and some of the original writers. So there's a couple little, like, I guess you could say Easter eggs throughout here, um, like that. So I don't know. I thought that was cute. Um, let's see, what else? The, there's a character who I don't remember from. She, she's in here, she's from John's childhood, so they kind of created like a new story. And I, I'm assuming this is a brand new character because I don't remember her. I think her name was Alicia. Now I, I've forgotten because I read this last night. And sometimes, sometimes characters' names don't stick with me so well um, until I've gotten to know the character for a long time. Yeah, it's Aisha, or Aisha, Aisha. A-I-S-H-A, -A. and I don't remember her from any of the comics, so I'm assuming she's a brand new made up character. She's supposed to be an old time long friend of John um, from childhood, but they've since lost touch. Um, and there's like some tongue in cheek about like how John may have or may not stolen her boyfriend. Um, so again, that, that's also kind of like a head nod to Delano and his stories, because he was kind of, I believe the first person uh, first writer of Hellblazer to introduce, um, to, to reveal, I guess I should say, uh, that John Constantine was bisexual. So that was a kind of another, you know, yo, um, nod to Delano. But anyway, um, so this is Tom Taylor, Derek Robertson, and Diego Rodriguez, um, who I'm not really familiar with any of them. I can't think of a, th a single thing by them I've written, or read, sorry, but that could also be because I don't read that much DC anymore. Um, some of the Sandman universe, now that Vertigo's gone, um, I'm just kind of picking up the pieces where Vertigo people went and Vertigo stories went, so... Yeah, that's probably just why I'm not super familiar with them, because I haven't been reading a lot of DC books um, over the last year. And they're probably more DC people. 
and we won't get into the horribleness that's happening at DC or has happened over the last month. But if you are on the Twitter sphere, the blogosphere, you've probably seen all about the layoffs. So the interesting thing about this that kind of threw me for a loop was the representation, and this is going to be warning, spoiling the story a little bit if you haven't read this, but we are going to be dealing with the Morning Star. Now, if you're familiar with um, Canon from Sandman Universe and from Hellblazer and uh, I think even Swamp Thing maybe also, maybe not Swamp Thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of like other crossovers kind of things. Lucifer and the Morning Star and the Devil are different people. <laughs> Whereas that's not so much how Christian stuff works, but in this universe, the Devil is a different person from Lucifer. So, but here I'm a little confused because normally Lucifer Morning Star is one person and the devil is another person in these stories. But here they're referring to this person as the Morning Star, the devil. So now I'm like, oh, I'm confused. Who are we talking about? Um, yeah, so there's, and then they present what you see as the Morning Star, the devil in this story is not Lucifer from the Sandman universe. Um, this is like more like the devil from some of the original Hellblazer stories where he actually looks like, you know, he's red with horns, that devil. So this is a little bit confusing too because he's kind of an amalgamation of Lucifer Morning Star that we know from the Lucifer Sandman series and this devil character because this devil is wearing a suit. Can I just show you? It's the last page. Again, spoilers. I'm just going to have to put that in the headline. Just to reiterate my point about how confused I am. So, you know, he's got the suit, um, previous iterations of this particular devil um, in the Hellblazer series had shown him as like literally a big hulking devil. He was not wearing a suit. He was not looking modern in any way, shape, or form. So this is kind of confusing and I'm, I'm interested to see since it's very clear to me that the creators of this particular book have read the original, original books and original stories, or at least some of them, um, to just kind of like put this into perspective for me because you know, unless my memory is just serving me very, very wrongly, very, very poorly today, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, that being said, it is a very nice story. It's actually, I really like it. And there's kind of like a throwback or a throw to, um, if you've been watching the Lucifer series on television, which of course this is new, and some of what happens in here, um, <clears throat> the wings, is a throwback in my head to like season two, I believe it was, of the Lucifer series on television, which I didn't even watch all of, by the way, but it's not bad. It's just me and television. We don't line up all the time, you know? Uh, so <laughs> it, there's kind of a thing about the Lucifer's wings. Again, this isn't Lucifer. This is the devil, Morning Star. It's different. So <laughs> if they are trying to put two, those two characters together in this particular story, and this is the devil, Lucifer, and Morningstar all in one, I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's what's happening or not, or if they are keeping them separate. I'm very confused. Can you sense that? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you thought of that, what you made of it. Um, Please in the comments below, like if, if your interpretation was completely different than mine, um, if your memory is maybe better than mine. I didn't read the early Hellblazers, like I reread them recently. I didn't read them that long ago. It was within the last year. So I think my memory is serving me all right. Um, but that being said, I only read the first 10 volumes uh, reread this this time around. So I, I haven't read like the 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 remaining ones in a long time, probably not, yeah, a very, probably like 10 years ago, um, I guess, <sighs> I think. Anyway, let me know what you think, because this one just kind of threw me for a loop, and I'm going to, of course, keep reading it, because it's a Hellblazer story, 
Um, and it's 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 well written. Um, it's interesting. I like I like the new characters. If in fact they are new, I think they are. Like I said, I don't think they are reused characters. I think they're new. Um, but uh, yeah, it's good. It seems like it's going down the vein and following kind of like the canon that I know and love and the John that I know and love because there have been different interpretations of John Constantine over the years and they haven't all been Frog Queen approved. Um, but uh, I, I like this one. This one feels like John. So that being said, I think I'll just leave it at that because this video is getting a little long for one book. <laughs> and until next time, guys, read something good. Oh, don't forget to follow me on the socials. I'm very active on Twitter again and Instagram. And, uh, of course, you can find me in the description below. And, uh, yeah, shout out. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Bye.